I'm going to show you how to use Desmos to do some binomial probabilities. It does a really great job. I'm going to use this example. We're going to flip a coin 80 times. So as I'm going through the important pieces for this binomial probability, I know that n is equal to 80. So n is equal to 80. Um, what's the probability of landing on tails 35 times? That's my random variable. I want 35 successes. What I'm left with is the probability of a success. So the probability, we want to land on tails. That's going to be the probability of tails in any one flip. So the probability of landing on tails, heads or tails, it would be one half or 0.5. We could use either one. I know this is a binomial probability because that probability 0.5 stays the same with every single flip and I've only got two possible outcomes. Let's put this into Desmos. I'm going to go into my keypad here. So let me go ahead and open up the keypad. Then I want to click on function so I can grab that binomial probability. It's a distribution. So I'm going to scroll down until I see my distributions. There it is. And I'm going to choose that binomial dist. Now, if you remember what it's called, you can just type it in. But notice how it prompts me after the parenthesis for the number of trials and the success probability. The number of trials is n. And for our experiment, that was 80. And then it wants a comma. And then it wants the success probability. So that's the probability of getting tails in one spin. And that's 0.5 or 1 half. So it gives me a graph. If I click on this zoom fit button right here, it's going to give me a much nicer looking graph. And you can see that we're expecting 40 as the most frequent number and it's got that highest probability really nice binomial distribution there but we wanted to find the probability of getting 35 tails i'm going to check this box right here find the cumulative probability now i don't want to find the probability of all the different cases which is what it's given me right now so this is giving me the probability of getting anywhere between zero and 80 tails and take a look at that probability. It's one or 100%. I want the probability instead of 35. So I'm gonna let my minimum be 35 and my maximum be 35 as well. You can see if I get rid of my keypad here, you can see that it has given me a bar for that particular probability. I can even click on it here and there it is my probability 0 0.0478. Now I could also do something like the probability between 35 and 40. Let's include the 35 and the 40. So that would be 35 as the minimum, 40 as the maximum. It's labeled each of those bars and it added up that probability. So cool, right? So that's 0.435. I hope this was helpful. Take a look at my other videos as well. And thanks so much for watching.